Hey guys, MEP guy here, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to route your sanitary and vent piping in Revit. Now, I did a video about a month ago showing you guys how to route this cold water and hot water piping, and I thought it would make sense to do um, some sanitary and vent piping uh, routing for the same architectural background, the simple bathroom setup. So I want to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to get this routing correct and what you can do to really speed up some of your processes. So first off, I'm just going to delete all this sanitary and vent piping. So I'm going to tab into it. I'm going to make sure I deselect my fixtures. So I'm just going to select pipe fittings and pipes and hit OK. And now that I have all of my pipe and fittings selected and none of my fixtures, I can just simply delete it. So I've went ahead and added a floor drain to this um, model. So all you would do is add a plumbing fixture or you would just go to systems, plumbing fixture. And right here, if you start typing in drain, you can get this two inch drain. And then you want to place it on a work plane and that will make sure it's placed on the first floor. And then I just went ahead and put it over top of this other one. So I'm gonna actually delete that, delete. And then I'm just gonna move this new one I just put in to the middle of that floor drain. Hit escape. So the first thing we're gonna do to start drawing our sanitary piping is I'm going to set up a good floor plan and 3D view that looks good so I can work efficiently. So I'm gonna hide this category. We're gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna quickly select all of my hot and cold water piping by just selecting all the piping in the view. I'm going to filter it and we're only going to select pipe fittings and pipes and just for this I'm going to temporarily hide these elements and that way I can have a nice clean view while I'm working. I'm going to select my water closet because it's going to be my farthest fixture. I'm going to click this little create pipe button with this little p-trap on it and that's going to create some sanitary piping. Now it's good to always drop your sanitary about negative two feet. And let's just run it out to here. And let's make a right hand turn. And this is where it's gonna be leaving our building. We're gonna hit escape. We also wanna make sure that the pipe type is set to PVC DWV for drain waste vent. And that way it'll draw in the correct fittings. And I have a lot of other videos um, showing you guys uh, tips and tricks and also um, how to draw sanitary piping. So anyway, let's continue. So we got our four inch main, or let me just check what size this is. Yep, it's a four inch, so we got our four inch right now. And now let's go from the floor drain and let's use the same process. Let's click this little P-trap and we'll drop it down to negative two feet because that's where we put it. And we're just gonna T right into this main right here. We're gonna hit escape. Now for my lavatory, I'm just gonna hover over my lavatory and select it. Maybe I'll do a crossing selection. And we'll start our pipe for the sanitary system. We'll draw it about into this right here. Whoa, Revit's telling us we didn't draw it far enough. So let's try that again. Let's select our lavatory. And let's just exaggerate how far this piping's gonna go. Maybe to right here. Oh, so Revit's not liking that because basically the starting point is actually at this drain right here. So we have to make sure that we pay attention to where the pipe is being drawn from. So if I select it in the 3D view and I start drawing my pipe, you'll see it's coming out of this drain location. So we can't just go off 90 degrees this way. We have to drop it first. So let's drop it to about, I don't know, 18 inches make sure I enter that into the middle elevation, not the diameter box. So I'm gonna make sure it's here, hit apply. And now I'm just gonna hold down my shift and we're just gonna go this way some. Hit escape. And we're starting to draw our sanitary pipe. And so I'm gonna actually drop this down right to this right here. And the reason why I'm working in both a floor plan and a 3D view is so I can just quickly do things. Now I'm going to zoom in here. Um, I'm not sure this fitting was correct, so I'm going to actually uh, make sure this pipe type is right. 
And as you can see, it's showing me pipe type standard, so I can just notice that this fitting isn't right. So I'm going to actually have to undo all that piping. And this time, let's make sure that we are using the correct pipe type. So let's go to PVC. And we're going to drop it down again to 18 inches. It should be 1 foot 6 right here. And we're going to hold shift. We're going to go to here. We're going to hit escape. And now we're just going to drop it right into this. And we should get the right fittings this time. Okay, that's looking much better. I'm actually going to upsize this piece of pipe right here to 2 inches. So we're going to select that and we're going to go to 2 inches. And I want my vent to come up here so I'm going to go ahead and select that T and hit the plus button and that's going to make a nice T. Sorry I meant elbow last time. So that's going to make a nice T. And now we can begin to draw our vent piping. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click into this and I'm going to draw a pipe. And we're going to draw it up. So I'm going to make it maybe, I don't know, at 9 foot 6. Doesn't matter right now. We can always change this. And let's just start going this way, holding our shift button. And that looks good. Now maybe we want to draw our vent into this over here. So I'm going to actually select it. And right now it's sitting right here so I'm going to go into this view by clicking into this view. I'm going to right click on this little drag button and we're going to start drawing pipe. And that should be from this point. You can see it right there in our 3D view and I'm just going to go ahead and go 45 degrees or 135 degrees right into this piece right here. That creates a vent piece that is going at a 45 degree angle into our sanitary. But that's not the right location, but we're in Revit, so we can fix that. All we have to do is just select some of our pipe. And I'm actually not going to do it that way. I'm going to select this piece right here. And I'm going to use my shift and my arrow keys and just change where that piece is. I'm going to hit cancel. I went too far. And that looks about pretty good. Maybe use our arrow keys to line that up closer. That looks pretty good. Now let's do the same thing. Let's go back to our piping up here and let's click into this view and we'll go ahead and right click and create similar and we'll just make a piece from here maybe and we'll just drop it right down to here. And as you can see Revit is drawing our pieces of pipe right down to here. Now this piece came in the wrong way so we're going to have to make sure we fix that so we just click into it. Now that that piece has been selected we can just go ahead and delete it and help rub it out a little bit. So we're going to trim this piece of pipe from this point to this point. And then we're going to click on this piece. Let's get a better angle by holding the shift key. And we're going to click this little plus button right here. We're going to click on this piece of pipe. We're going to bring it back a little bit so we know we connect it. And let's just drag this into this connector right here. So now we're all connected. Now Revit changed this little piece to a more Y looking type. So everything's looking good so far. Let's just zoom out and rotate in this view. Now one thing we definitely want to do is we want to display this vent piping as a different system. And we also want to color the vent system in a different way so we can recognize our sanitary and our vent piping. So what I would recommend we're just going to delete, we're going to pull all our pipe back up, we're going to pull this one up, and we're going to pull this one up right, well, let's actually click right here, because we'd want our vent to start right here. So essentially what I've done there is I've just dis disconnected that network of piping from the sanitary system. So now all I have to do is select one of the pieces and we can simply just change the system over here to vent. And Revit will automatically color and create these line types for the vent system based on your graphic overrides. So I'm going to click this system by going to piping systems. We're going to go to edit type and I changed the graphic overrides for vent as to a dash under the pattern and this uh, green, yellowish green color. Hit OK. 
So now we can really see that. We're just escaped now. And all I have to do is just connect my vent piping back to this. And since there is a fitting separating uh, the two systems, it won't change your system into vent. I know that is a problem that a lot of people have. And all you need to make sure is that you have a fitting between your two systems. And that will help keep things separate. We'll hit escape. Everything's looking pretty good. If we really wanted to make this um, clear on the floor plan, we could always click into this piece right here, zoom out a little bit, and we could go ahead and move this vent piping out um, to show it better. I'm going to go ahead and select only these pieces up here, and I don't need this piece, and I don't need this piece. We're going to go back into this view by clicking into it. And we're just going to move our piping out, something like this. Hit escape. Now I can go ahead and kind of line these pieces up in this view. And that looks good. Maybe we want to bring this vent up to the roof. So we'll click onto it and drag it up. And we'll go ahead and click this piece right here. Right click into the pipe. Draw pipe. And we'll draw it to about this point right here. Hit escape. Let's zoom into our 3D view. And I'm going to use the trim command this time. Click on this pipe. Hold shift. And we're going to rotate around it. And I'm just going to go up here to my modify tools. We're going to use this trim single element. Click on the piece we want to go to. And we'll click on our little piece of pipe right there. And that looks great. So we are now displaying our sanitary and vent piping um, in a way where everything can be shown and in the 3D view we have all of our piping so we can clearly see it and we can work really efficiently in Revit. Now I'm going to put these views on sheets real quick because that's something you guys are going to want to do very often. So I'm going to go up to view, new sheet. We're just going to select this E1 sheet that Revit gives us. Hit OK. And this sheet's going to go over here. I'm just going to drag it over to this side. And that looks good. Now, for this view, I actually want to make sure I rename it. And I'm just going to go ahead and hide the sanitary and vent systems in this view only. So I'm going to go to Visibility Graphics by going to VV. I'm going to go to Filters. And for this, I'm going to actually add some new filters that are going to select my sanitary and vent systems. So I'm going to hit OK. And I just want to remove the visibility from this view for, for this view only. Hit Apply. And now my sanitary and vent systems are hidden. So I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm just going to right click on this view. And I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'll just duplicate because I don't want any annotations. But there's none in here anyway. And this view I'm going to rename by right clicking, rename. And we'll go to visibility graphics again by going to VV filters and for this one let's just do the opposite let's show our sanitary and vent systems and we're going to hide our domestic cold water and hot water we'll hit apply and we're going to hit ok so now we essentially have a view that is the domestic water system and then a view that has the sanitary and vent systems so we want to add those to some sheets so i'm going to just drag them into this sheet right here we'll hit escape and then we're just going to throw in this sanitary and vent one by just dragging it in and clicking. And maybe we want to also throw in this 3D view that we have up here. So I'm just going to click into that. And the 3D view actually lives under these question marks because it doesn't have a discipline assigned to it. So we can do that right now if we want. So I'm just going to go to sub-discipline and we're just going to move that into plumbing. And the view should go down to my 3D views. And now I can just right click and rename. And we'll just rename this. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to visibility graphics. And we're just going to hide the cold water and hot water system. So I need to add those filters in. So we're going to do... And this time I actually created a filter just for the domestic system. So we're going to hit OK. And we're just going to unhide that and hit apply. So now my sanitary and vent is showing. I'm going to hit OK. 
Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to right click here and we're going to duplicate that view. And this is my duplicated one because it says copy at the end. So we're going to change the name of that. I'm going to click into this rename. And we're going to call this hot water risers. Hit enter. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just go into visibility graphics. Go to filters. So we're going to add the sanitary and vent systems. And then for this time I just want my domestic water system showing. Now it's also showing this drain so maybe we want to do something about that so we could go to edit new and we can add a new filter. We'll call it drains and we would select plumbing fixtures and we would just want to make sure it selected all of our drains so we could maybe do it by family name and anything that contains drain. Let's hit OK. And let's add this drains filter. And we'll go ahead and uncheck its visibility and hit apply. And the drain disappears. So that would be how you would want to hide all of your drains. But you would have to make sure your families are consistently named drain. So let's check back on our sanitary and vent riser system. And maybe for this we don't want to show mechanical equipment, so I'm just going to right click on it. We're going to hide it in our view by the category. And the category controls the same thing as the visibility graphics. So let's go back to our sheet. And I want to add those risers in, so let's just drag them into this view. And we'll just put them above our floor plans. And let's just drag in the sanitary and vent riser. And let's just eyeball it for right there hit escape now these are very small so I'm going to actually increase the scale of these maybe to a half inch and this all depends on how much room you have to work with so we're just going to right click and deactivate that view I'm going to select it I'm just going to use my arrow keys to select that view and we're going to use the arrow keys to kind of start to position this that looks good for now Let's make this one one half. I'm just going to double click into it that time. And we'll make it one half equals a foot. And I think I accidentally made this a different size. See, I made it three quarters. Let's just change that back. Hit escape. We'll deactivate that view. And we'll select this view. We can use a dragging selection like this and kind of position it right here. Let's do the same thing for this. We'll just make that selection. We'll kind of position it down here. Try to align it with the other plans. We'll select this view, hold control and select this view too. And we'll just use our arrow keys to kind of position this. Let's zoom in so you guys can really see what's going on. And let's just get rid of these views over here because they're not really needed anymore. And we'll close all of the hidden windows. And we can go ahead and make modifications to any of these views by just clicking into them. And maybe I want to add diagrams to this. And I could just make changes on the fly. Now in the next video that I'm going to be working on next week, I'm going to do a video on tags and also working with keynotes in Revit. And I do feel like working with keynotes is one of the trickiest things to master. And I have a lot of really good tips and tricks for you guys in the next video. Now I'm currently working on a course and you can check that out at mepguy.com and I really appreciate all the likes and all the feedback from you guys and thanks for watching. Bye.